Hi guys, this video is to show the latest changes for iHUD for version 2.2. Um, not many changes, uh, but a couple of bug fixes and one change. One of the fixes is that when you talk to people, I'm right behind you. the crosshair disappears. As you can see, no crosshair, which because there's no need for it. It just gets in the way and is pretty annoying. So there it's gone. Lead and on. it's back. So that's the first thing. The next thing I fixed is the... One of the options is to disable the enemy's health. And it was not reapplying it when you loaded a game. Um, so you'd got your enemy's health and you had to come back in here, turn it on, and then turn it off again. And it would then it would work. Um, in 2.1, You every time you loaded the game, you just needed to go on and then off, and then it would work. Now... It'll remember it between saves, hopefully. <laughs> so that's one thing I've fixed. Now, the new feature I've added is actually, if you if you sprint now, I'm going to start sprinting. It takes about half a second before the stamina bar appears. And it's the same with the crosshair. If I look, well, sometimes it happens immediately. It all depends if the script is updating and when. It updates about every half second, twice a second. You can actually now change that and, for example, you can tell it to update slower. So, a one second pause between each update. And uh, now there will be a second before I sprint. See? It might have even been a little bit longer. Um, now, I will tell you that this delay depends on your Skyrim scripting as well. If you're, It tells it to wait for a second, but then as you can see, it's a little bit longer than a second. That's because the scripting engine has got to give Immersive Hood power. Um, and it decides when it does that. So I can't force it. I can just make a suggestion. Now, if I take this number and change it all the way down to 0 0.01. Now, this will try to run iHUD 100 times a second. Again, it cannot force it. It'll only do this if your game allows it. And if you've got a heavily modded game with a lot of scripts, it probably won't allow it. But it's a little faster. If I sprint now, it appears faster. Um, again, it's going to depend on your system. If you've got no other mods except iHUD installed, you'll probably find it's really an instantaneous response. Um, if you've got um, lots of mods like I have with loads of scripts, I'm afraid... It's still going to be a tiny delay. Shouldn't be that long, though. I mean, this is this is about the... It's, it's almost not noticeable on the sprint. So, I added that feature. So you get a little bit of control over how often it updates. Okay, guys, that's basically it. Uh, quick update with a few bug fixes and one new feature. Hope it helps, and I hope you enjoy the mod.